Hello from Healing Inspirations this 27th of February 2018 and we are at earth.nullschool.net earth.nullschool.net where you can find real-time analytics of our atmosphere real-time analysis of our uh, precipitation heat wind pressure for the entire earth particulates and more earth.nullschool.net blue represents freezing or below the whitish blue is colder still we'll take a temperature reading minus 13 minus 16 we get into the purples that's even colder at minus 28 C for the benefit of our American audience we'll do this in Fahrenheit but if we take a look at the globe, we can see that a lot of the temperature at the same latitudes is quite different. For example, let's take a look at this latitude here, 52 degrees north. Okay, and if we this is in the over the ocean, we can see 39 Fahrenheit above freezing. See the same latitude over land, approximately the same area, 30 just below freezing over on the Quebec side minus 1.8 Fahrenheit, so there's a 30 degree drop Fahrenheit and uh, near freezing out in the ocean Atlantic Ocean, then a little bit further into the Atlantic you can see the temperature rises dramatically and this is what we want to point out do you notice this green area here going up the Atlantic Ocean let's take a look around here Atlantic Ocean here is Norway so we have the Norwegian Sea which is typically at or near freezing because of the Gulf Stream but look at the penetration past the Norwegian Sea into the Barents Sea Laptev almost we have uh, Ikara Sea over here where there's a great deal of oil drilling going on right now and you can see above temperature above freezing temperatures in the green now why this is alarming is because this area here has permafrost areas which are permanently frozen acting like a plug keeping the methane below it frozen and in the ground well not fro not uh, frozen but keeping it plugged in the ground and if the methane hydrates melt the methane will release into the atmosphere and scientists tell us there is over twice as much methane under the seabed and the Arctic than there is in the atmosphere if, should this, if this should release we're going to see a dramatic raise in temperature and it's going to be abrupt very quickly so we're looking at two or three years before this area melts and releases this methane and if this should happen the temperature will go up the Arctic will melt the polar vortex will be permanently split in two. This area will become ocean, and we will see wind and weather like we have never seen before in human history, because it has never happened in human history that the Arctic has been an open ocean. But this can very well happen if that methane comes up. And how do we know? Because 252 million years ago in the Permian extinction, methane was released and the temperature raised five degrees Celsius within a very short period and we estimate it could have been as short as a week and that would have triggered a major extinction event 